How's it going guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today what we have for you of course is I rate your teams. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. Just wanted to start off this episode by plugging the second channel. Uh, I'll leave a link to uh, the second channel in the description. You guys can find it down there. I'm going to post a lot more on the second channel in the upcoming weeks, months, however long. Um, I'm just, I'm feeling like doing some more content. So I'm going to branch out and do it on the second channel as well. So make sure you subscribe to that. It's not Haber. Thank you very much for subscribing. If you do, let's get into the episode. Right, we're starting off with Nico's team. He says, all in trouble except for Cannavaro, De Jong and Neymar. I'll play a 4-2-3-1 in game with Butra at striker, Pele middle cam and Neymar and Sane at left and right cams. Got Pele Maldini from my die compacts. Fair enough, GG's. Love your videos, keep the good work. You know what? Maldini is one I don't think I've got from a mid icon pack. Not on my account, not on anyone else's account. I just haven't seemed to, to have gotten a Maldini in a mid icon pack anywhere. And I've opened a lot of mid icons both on myself and on your guys' accounts. So, kind of crazy. Um, but this is a really nice team, actually. This is a really nice team. I like this a lot. Um, I see, obviously, what, you, what you're planning on doing with the team and stuff like that. Uh, if I was to say, if you had a single weak link in this entire team, it's very, very, very... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? nitpicky i guess but i mean amavi could be a weak link in the team with times to come we could see uh some really good left backs come out obviously with team of the season which we're going to talk about in just a second but amavi could be a player that you replace with maybe a team of the season alex tellers if we get one in the next month or two um but until then honestly wouldn't change a single thing with this team this team looks absolutely incredible now talking about team of the season i went and made a premier league team of the season prediction because i think that ea will make a team of the season for the premier league and other leagues based on what we've had so far in the league Con uh, considering obviously what's going on right now uh team of the season is one of ea's biggest money makers and i can't see them postponing it i can't see them not doing it uh, and I think they'll just go off uh, what we've had so far in the season, taking away the last three or four weeks of the season or whatnot. So um, I think that this is what I, we're going to get in terms of a Premier League team of the season. I went in goal with Dean Henderson. I've been a little bit biased as a Man United fan, and I do apologise if that offends any of you guys. But I went with Aaron Wan-Bissaka, uh, a right back. Don't worry, I'll show you guys the uh, the bench and reserves in a second. I went with uh, Virgil van Dijk and Soyuncu as the two centre-backs and Robbo as the left-back. Uh, Fred Henderson and KDB as the midfielders, and then the attackers are Mane, Aguero, and Aubameyang. Now, I did go ahead and I did make a bench and reserves. Um, obviously, we get 24 team of the season players. Um, we get, obviously, uh, we get objectives and, and SBCs and stuff like that as well, so they're not included. Uh, but I went with Ender Stevens over on that left-back spot. Now, I give him 91 pace. Ender Stevens, I think, was the fastest recorded Premier League player, so he definitely deserves a huge pace upgrade. But with Tarkovsky, Pereira, Johnny Egan... Um, Dubravka, Kovacic, and Didi, and Alexander Arnold. Of course, I think Pereira and Alexander Arnold both deserve spots in the team of the uh, team of the season. Um, but I also think that Aaron Bissaka does deserve a spot. Uh, then over on the reserves, uh, sorry, I, I'm going off a photo right now, so I have to drag it around and stuff. I'm go I've gone with Salah, Vardy, Son, uh, Rashford, and Grealish. Um, all of them deserving team of the seasons. People like Adama, James Madison. Um, both deserve team of the seasons without a shadow of a doubt amongst a whole host of other players. But um, I've gone with players both based on what I think EA will run uh, to sell packs and what I think deserve uh, team of the season players. So this is what I went for in terms of my team of the season. I've just removed my webcam for one second so you guys can see it in a little bit of uh, greater detail. That's just what I thought would be the Premier League team of the season or my predictions. Um, I don't think it'll be exactly the way that it is, but we'll see. I'm just excited to start talking about team of the season, man. Team of the season is undoubtedly one of my favourite uh, promos of the year without a shadow of a doubt I love team of the season it's a lot of fun um, it's always a great time with team of the season SBCs with hugely upgraded players and I think that especially in FIFA 20 we could really use team of the season just on the basis that we have a lot of players now that are really high rated that aren't even getting used in teams and stuff um, in fact if I could prove my point on Nico's bench we've got an 86 Correa an 87 Cunha an 89 Mares, an 89 Drogba an 86 Florenzi an 87 Cyprian we have a lot of players now that have come out and we're kind of getting overdone with the same sort of players. I think that it'll be nice to start replacing players once again with team of the season. For example, he could replace Hector Bellerin with a team of the season, Juan Bissaka or a team of the season, Ricardo Pereira. He could replace Sane with a team of the season, Salah, obviously bearing in mind he has to get the coins for them. Um, but it's going to be nice for a lot of people that really are lost with their teams to finally get huge upgraded cards 
to, uh, to work with the team. So uh, for the next sort of few weeks, unless EA drop a promo this Friday or next Friday, whatever, we're going to be talking about Team of the Seasons, make some predictions for the iRate Your Teams episodes um, and maybe on the second channel as well. So make sure you stick around for that. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to start talking about it. Let's get back into the episode. And of course, if you like uh, stuff like that in the future, if you want the iRate Teams uh, episodes to have a little bit more... Uh, I don't know, just, just different sort of things in it, then let me know down below as well. Um, I'd love to make mine, uh, my, my episodes, just basically what you guys want to see, uh, really. So the next one is from Ariane uh, Gajaj. I am so sorry if I got that wrong. It says, this is the team I am planning on building. First is in-game. Everyone's untradeable except for Mbappe, Neymar, Yedda, and Stegen when I get them. Uh, got Rio from Prime Icon Pack, and I freaked out. Fair enough. By the way, that Ronaldo is packed, but I can't fit him in. Uh, great vids. Well... I mean, first of all, GG on the Ronaldo. Not trying to flex here. I do have two untradeable Ronaldos, UCL and the normal version. Kind of a big... <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. No, that's uh, that's incredible though. Like, that's, that's a massive GG's. Uh, I'm sure we can have a look at the team and maybe try to figure out a way to you can, that you can get him in, maybe. Um, but I like I like how it plays in game. Uh, you guys helped me a lot with my team um, on the Sunday's episode with with playing uh, a 4 2 3 one again. So I do I massively appreciate that. Uh, honestly, with this team, I think you could probably actually try and get Ronaldo in. Uh, it would be a bit difficult, but I think that it's possible. What I think you could do here to get Ronaldo in, I think you could... Now this is going to be this is going to be uh, a sh the stretchable stretches to do this right, um, and I think that you're going to be playing a couple of players off chemistry. But here's what I think you do: I think you move Baki. Mm, do I say you move Baki Oko to striker? I th basically what I'm thinking of is getting foot birthday Douglas Costa at left mid, playing Ronaldo as as a cam. Not getting Mbappe, who I don't don't get me wrong, I know Mbappe is incredible. But maybe not getting Mbappe, or if you do get Mbappe, maybe not getting um, Bakayoko, uh, not Bakayoko, so Ben Yedder. Um, but I think that the the best way you can do this is maybe Douglas Costa left mid, Ronaldo left cam, uh, moving Bakayoko or Ben Yedder up to striker, whichever one you prefer, um, and playing a couple players on eight chemistry. Now, alternatively, you could actually swap out. Pogba for Matuidi, that's going to play Sane on like full chemistry though, which you're going to struggle with. Um, it's going to take a lot of shuffling, but I think that your best bet is that new foot birthday, Costa at left mid and Costa, uh, sorry, Ronaldo left cam. The reason why I don't want to talk too much about anything else apart from those two is because I don't know how you enjoy playing. So I don't want to say get, I don't know, Matuidi over, over Pogba and, and you don't like having smaller CDMs. So um, kind of look for players that fit your play style around that setup, if you ask me. Because I think that it's there's no point having a Ronaldo and not playing him unless you've got Pele's and Eusebio's and Maradona's and things like that, you know? Um, but the rest of the team is really, really nice. And GG on that Rio Ferdinand, I am jealous, is a really good card. I recently just got a para into my team and I am loving him. He is incredible. Next team uh, coming from Meme Ward, who is actually uh, a Discord staff member and a moderator in the stream. So shout out to you, Meme Ward. He says, hey, it's Haber. I play 4 2 3 one in game and the tradables are to Stegen and Militao. I've got 500,000 coins for improvements. I was thinking foot birthday habits for Jovic. I could play Lopez on 8chem. Love the vids. Keep up the good work. I appreciate it, dude. Um, hmm. Mm. I am thinking here... It's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. You could you could get that for birthday Havertz. Um, that's a decent shout. Now, what you also could do is, in my opinion, I wouldn't focus too much on upgrading your Jovic, as I'd say upgrading your Eder Militao. I think that for this team, you want to get yourself a better right centre back, and I would recommend Varane. Um, now, which version of Varane? I'm not entirely sure. I know there's actually a minuscule difference between the 86 and the 87, and it's not worth um 150k in upgrade if you ask me it's literally plus one defending plus one pace and plus two physicals so i would say go for the 86 version but there is a huge difference between this card and that card so it's kind of crazy what i don't understand is um the difference between these two cards i don't think warrants 150k but anyway we're not here to talk about that are we i would say get yourself the 86 varan over Eder militao um and then start saving with the remaining 200k if you're going to get yourself up birthday Havertz over Jovic, I would wait until you can afford maybe um, a second icon cam. Um, and then you you try and fit him in in a different way. Um, I think Batagli is really good, but there's a lot of icons that are better that you can play as your left cam that can play CDM. So I would say wait for that. Uh, but the rest of the team is really, really nice. Um, and apparently we're getting a fourth birthday bag. 
from what I've seen. Uh, we're going to actually quickly double check that in a second. But apparently we're getting a fourth foot birthday bag. So we'll see if we do. And um, maybe you can get yourself some. Maybe you can get yourself have us from that. So Footwatch uh, is a Twitter account. I highly recommend you guys follow. Very good Twitter account. Um, he tweets out the code for SBC. So for example, Party Bag 3 tweeted out the night before. Um, and this is the Party Bag 3. Now he tweeted out more code today. Uh, and this one is guarantees a player from foot birthday. So it's literally just a foot birthday guaranteed SBC, which I'm excited for. I'll, I'll definitely be doing. I'll be opening all your guys's if uh, if you guys want me to over on Twitch, if we get it at 6 p.m. Uh, tonight, uh, that'll be really cool as well. Um, but yeah, very interesting. So maybe you get yourself a Havertz from that if you got, if you do it. Uh, and then this will come from Damo, who says, Hey, hey, but this is my team at the moment. Ben Yedder and Nelson Semedo are the only tradable cards. I don't have many coins because I did the foot birthday bag and I got Douglas Costa, which is actually a big dub if you ask me. Um, anyway, to uh, improve, love the vids. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it, dude. Let me check it out. So you've got an untradable, say, Maximine and an untradable Douglas Costa. That's actually pretty lucky. Um, this is a nice team. I like this team. I would say start saving to upgrade the right back. There's actually a couple of decent right backs now in the uh, in La Liga. I think the first one is um, uh, no, not uh, why did I type in Nelson? His name's Emerson. Emerson well, Nelson uh, Nelson Semedo's got a good right back card, but Emerson's a good shout. He's two hundred thousand coins, but he's a decent shout. Um, I'm not entirely sure how much Nelson Semedo's headliners card is. I think it's expensive though. Yeah, four hundred and fifty k. We also have a good uh, Kappa card that we got re released. The headliners Kappa. Uh, this card is one hundred and forty six k. Um, there's a lot of different good options for right back in, uh, in in this league. Now, alternatively, you could go Brazilian. I'm not entirely sure if there is any Brazilian right backs this year that are decent. Obviously, we don't have Dani Alves in the game to get like a flashback or something. Um, so I'm not entirely sure if there is a, a huge a huge good amount of players. Obviously, this Emerson card, if you did go over this, uh, it allows you to get a strong link to um, your right centre back, which means you can actually have a little bit of fun with the goalie or the left centre back if you wanted to as well. Um, but yeah, no, I think he's a he's a good shout. Kappa's a good shout. Um, maybe an upgrade on Nelson. Um, but the rest of this team, I wouldn't really touch. I think you've got a really good foundation for the midfield and attack. Um, and with time, if EA figure out a way to make the live Champions League cards and the Europa League cards uh, upgrade in the future, if they find like maybe a flashback game or something, I don't know, uh, then you might get an upgrade on your right centre-back as well, which would be really, really cool. Uh, next one coming from Zyso. Uh, don't know if I said that right or not. I do apologize. So this is my team. Don't have much coins, but I'm willing to grind uh, more. I'm thinking of getting Overmars from Icon Swaps. Used him in draft. Really liked him. Got Campbell from the Prime Icon Pack. Play a 40 for running game. Love the good... Uh, love. Sorry, what does it say? Um, keep up the good content. I'm sorry. I always am like... I'm just so... I'm so egotistical. I just imagine you saying you love me. <laughs> that's a joke. Um, all right. So that's how you... So you play You play a 4-3-2-1, not a 4-2-3-1. My bad. It says 4-2-3-1. I thought, you know, you play a 4-3-2 one. Okay, that makes sense. Um, this is actually a, a nice team. I would say, upgrades-wise, you can go with any left-back. What is the needing going with Jordi Alba, if you ask me? Uh, let me double-check on how many coins that you've got. You have not said any. You don't have much coins, but I'm willing to grind more. Um, you can literally go with any left-back on the game. Now, in terms of left-backs on the game, there is a massive pool of players you can go with here. Um, and there's also players that aren't too expensive. If we're good, if we're going to go like price wise, I don't think 150 to 200,000 coins is too much to spend on a left back this year. You want someone that's fantastic. We of course have this new Christian, not going to say his last name because I like having ads on the channel, uh, left back from Leicester city. Uh, he has got poor stamina and is an SBC. So he's going to be untradeable, but he looks like a really good card in game. Um, we also have, for example, uh, the headliners Taglia Fico is a really nice card. Got some really nice stats. Maybe not the fastest, but has some pretty good stats in game. We have Team of the Week Moments Robertson, who you could also go with. Um, that allows some Premier League influence in the left side as well, if you wanted to go with that. Um, maybe a left centre-back spot or something like that. Um, we have, of course, uh, Nico Schultz. This is also a really nice card. Uh, would work pretty well. I've used this card myself, and it's a good card in game. Um... There's a whole host of different options you can go with here. Uh, so yeah, I'd say just uh, fiddle around and see what you prefer in that left-back spot because you have all the freedom in the world to go with a really solid left-back there um, given your setup here. And uh, and it's going to allow you a lot of uh, a lot of good choices that are better than Jordi Alba, in my opinion. Jordi Alba, the way that I see left-backs and right-backs this year, I think you need a lot of strength and, uh, and, and, and muscle, I think. Uh, the reason why I say that is because 
we have a lot of right right wings and left wings this year that are so high rated that they have both pace and physicals. For example, people use Bale, people use uh, the likes of, of Neymar, who doesn't have the most strength, but feels strong in game. Or people use wide cams like Socrates. I played against twice this weekend who just tore my right back to pieces. I had to go get Zambrotta in at right back because Kenny Lala wasn't cutting it. You know, there's a lot of uh, fast but strong players as well. So I think you need someone strong to, to kind of go against them. Now, uh, the next one coming from Max, who says, uh, have 150,000 coins. Untradeable was our objective cards, Loudrup and Alba. I play a 4 2 3 running game with Bellarabi, uh, Lamb, and Carrasco Ram. Uh, keep of the good work. I placed Olmo out of the party bag, but don't know uh, how to get him into the team. Okay, i sorry. I know you guys hate it when I scroll past teams, but that's not... I, I, I can't help you with that team. I'm sorry. It's just too small, man. I don't know why. I think it's Twitter that does it. I think Twitter makes the pixels really... Uh, really squashed in sometimes um the next one coming from hey but you legend i can't believe someone made a twitter account with hey but you legend as their name that is incredible he says hi it's saber got 500k the first is start and second is in game i'm getting fred today and overmars from swaps thoughts love the bits i appreciate it dude let's check it out well fred looks incredible so gg's on that and, and overmars looks really good as well i respect it a lot of people didn't go with overmars but i think the card looks really good um i'm not entirely sure about pope I'm really not. Let me just double check how many coins you got. You got 500k. Would it be the worst thing in the world to get an icon center, but uh, sorry, an icon goalkeeper over Pope? I know he's got five star skills and it's fun, but I'm not the biggest fan of him. I was watching R9 Rai use him the other night, and he just didn't get didn't get on with him at all. Um, so I would say uh, it might be a good shout getting yourself maybe a, a Van der Sar, a Layman, a Lev Yashin. Um, I know a lot of people say that that some goalkeepers aren't fantastic. For example, a lot of people don't like Baby Van der Sar. I've personally used Baby and Middle Van der Sar, and they both feel really good. I've played against Lev Yashin, who saves a lot as well. Uh, so it might be a decent shout to um, go and get one of those uh, icon goalies that aren't too expensive um, to also get a para on full chemistry, because a para is incredible. He's absolutely incredible. Now, I would also say with this team, um, wait until team of the season to, to do more upgrades. I think that we could get a really good sort of right or left-sided player that could replace either Sane um, on each side. I think that we could get ourselves a really good striker, maybe an upgraded striker, a Bamiyang to go for. Um, but the rest of the team looks really good. I'm a big fan of this team. I think it's uh, it's well-built and it looks like it will play really well in-game. Next one coming from Henry, who says, Hi, Haber, loving the content. I appreciate it, dude. He says, I play a 4 one 2 one 2 in-game. My whole team is untradeable, but wouldn't mind going for uh, going non-first owner. Thanks for the suggestion. Stay safe and stay at home. I respect it, man. I, I agree with it 100%. Um... I like it. I like everyone that plays a 4-2-2 four, four narrow. I love the formation. I think it's really well uh, really well balanced attacking-wise and stuff like that. I see that you've got Orsic over, over Mars. I don't agree with that, but obviously if you've already used over Mars, you don't like him. I totally understand. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of that Orsic card when I've played against him. I've heard a lot of bad things about him when you, when people used him as well. Uh, I can't say that I've, I've experienced him firsthand, but I would say... Not not entirely sure. I mean, I respect the fact you've got an untradeable Van Dyke as well. That is unbelievable look. Like GG on that. I would say get yourself second inform Wamba Saka at right back straight away. I would also say over at right cam. Let me double, double check how many coins you got. Um, haven't really said. I would say at right cam maybe look to get shapeshifter Mares as well. Would be a really good shout. He works really well as a cam in a four until two narrow. I know because I personally used him there. Um, and I think both of those upgrades would actually be uh, very helpful to the team. But the rest of the team is solid, and I'd sort of keep it as is. And I'm going to end off the episode with the last one from so uh, Spider Kid. He says, I've almost got 500k, and my entire team is untradeable. Also, I am looking to get uh, Gattuso when the new set of Icon Swap challenges come out. Keep up the great work. I think, man. I appreciate it, dude. Um, yeah, I see why you get Gattuso. would be a, a, a good addition to the team as well. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any way you can get Trezeguet on chemistry here. Uh, maybe when you get Gattuso, you can... Hmm, maybe not, actually. I was going to say play Bakayoko over there at the left left centre mid spot and then Trezeguet up top. I don't think that works either. Um, huh. I don't know if there is a way you can get him on chemistry, to be honest. I'm really... I'm not entirely sure there is a way. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not entirely... I mean, the only thing I can think of 
It's going to take you a lot of uh, messing around and meddling with, but you could play a 4-3-3 second variation with the CDM and the 2 centre mids, play Bakioko as a holding CDM, and then swap Trezeguet and Zola. So Trezeguet starts up top, Zola starts at right centre mid, and you've got everyone apart from the left centre mid on chemistry there because Sizoko gets uh, the, the weak link. And then when you get Gattuso, it's going to mean that everyone's on chemistry when you replace Sizoko with the Gattuso. Uh, that could be a good shout. In terms of upgrades for the team, though, I wouldn't really recommend any. Um, again, I'd wait for team of the season or a really good player moments SPC to come out to make replacements to this team because it's really it's well built, you know, from the ground up, it's well built and I like it a lot. Um, but that's it for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are near around here. We're actually really close to 138,000. I'm grateful for all the support. You guys are mental and I'll see you later.